Hello and welcome to Joy News Interactive and I'm super excited to be here once again with you to serve you the hottest trending issues. Talking about the hottest trending topics, <laughs> I present to you CJ Biggerman, the young man has been trending number one since last night. As we speak, he's still in the top five trends. The young man took his shot and will be performing with Rick Ross, a.k.a. Ricky Rose, tonight at the Dirty Wave. Charlie, wait, oh, wait, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me slow down for the show. Anyway, you can join us on Joy News Interactive on our social media handles at Joy News on, on TV, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also send us a message on 0540109009. Let me tell you what's trending in the news. So, Twitter was on fire for this young man called CJ Biggerman. He's called Christian Joshua, and he's a rapper, and he needed to take his shot. So he found his way to the lobby of Kempinski and let loose, rapping to America's superstar Rick Ross. Rick Ross is built to play or perform at the Dirty Rave tonight. Can you believe that? <laughs> so let's watch this video that set social media on fire. As for me, they see nothing to me. To them, I'm just a misfit. A misfit, but they know that I do spit. I do spit, and yes, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for a breakthrough. The sad out here, so mama waiting for me to come to. Every day I'm hustling this way. I'm talking and stealing. I feel like I'm the pop, like I'm hustling. I still love my body from there. I know everything myself. Hustling. Everyone trying to make it bigger than the next man. Don't waste my flow time to waste on the west down. Hey, man, for this part, I'm a cop-down. See, we all kill. I put the knife in the cop-down. Yeah, trying to make a million still me. Isn't that beautiful? Well, wow, he took his chance. And that's what confidence does for you. Rick Ross is now following CJ Biggerman on Twitter everywhere that he has a handle. Oh, when will somebody like Rick Ross also follow him? But hey, wait a minute. Stoneboy is following me. I'm a big deal too. But anyway, let's check out some of your tweets from um, some of our celebrities, especially Sakori and Mr. Easy. So Don Easy says, Charlie Biggerman, speed up. I love this. And people are retweeting this. Bigger man shows his rap skills to Rick Ross. Hashtag year of your return. And Kwame Misafor there again saying, CJ Bigger man shows his rap skills to Rick Ross. Hashtag year of return. And Young Renzel is also retweeting that. Yep. Now, as you can see, Rick Ross is following CJ, bigger man on social media. That's beautiful. Look, it takes a lot to show what you've got. So wherever you are, if you want to show somebody who is your, what's the term for it, Kra? Hmm. Your destiny take, uh, provider, your destiny uh, this thing, helper, please do. Don't, don't stop at it. Don't think twice. Just jump on. Mm -hmm. You never know what's, what's going to I'm not sure if it were me that Rick Ross... I went to rap to him in the lobby and he was jamming with me. I don't think I would have slept. Well, I doubt if CJ actually slept. Hmm. Well, Rick Ross will be performing with CJ Biggerman tonight at Dirty Rave. And CJ Biggerman honored us with an interview right here on Joy News Interactive. Let me bring you that exclusive interview. Why did you do that in the first place? Yeah, okay. So um, I always believe in my talent. Um, um, people tend to see me as very confident. Yeah. yeah, so I always know I have something, but like I, I don't get enough reception for it. Mm -hmm. So I just needed to do something out of the box mm -hmm. to get everybody talking. Mm. Yeah. So, 
what was your were you nervous were you were you thinking were you double thinking it like no i shouldn't do this i'll do this i can't do this let me sit back okay, from the onset i knew i was going to do it okay. for me it was a do or die affair mm -hmm. because i knew this could like it's a win-win situation for me because i had nothing to lose mm -hmm. because i'm an upcoming artist if I go and he didn't respond to me, I'll still go back, still plan, still plan on how to release songs, blah, blah, blah. And if it did well, like it's doing now, I wouldn't be on J News. You get it? So at that point, I had nothing to lose because I had released my singles. I released a couple of songs, moving here and there, but no, nothing big is coming. So why not risk it? Just risk it. You, you never know. So I just took my shot. Wow. And then when he took out his phone and he started video and started screaming Ghana, and Ghana. How did you feel? I felt I felt like God is happening, like it's really happening. <laughs> because it was something that I pictured. You know, like if you listen to the lyrics that I use mm -hmm. in the rap, first of all, the beat I used is his beat. Um a song um, F with me, you know I got it. He did that song with um Jay Z. And I knew that was one of his favorite beats because when I listen to a lot of his interviews, he talks about that particular song that that was one of his favorite songs he ever did with Jay-Z. So I selected that particular beat because I knew when I play it, it was going to sink in, into his mind because he doesn't know me from anywhere. Definitely. Exactly. And the verses that I used was crazy because I took my time to write it. And I usually rap in my local dialect. But this time around, I decided to go full English because I really needed him to listen to what I was saying. So like everything was planned. It was planned. You planned this. Like how many weeks ago? Like I think two weeks before. When I immediately I heard Mr. Easy announce that Request was coming to Ghana, the idea came. Wow. Well, like you said, people will be thinking, why did you, into, um, why didn't you rap in a local dialect? Why did you do English? Yeah, because he doesn't know our local dialect. Mm. And I needed him to understand what I was saying, mm. to appreciate me. Most of the time when you rap in a local dialect, they appreciate the delivery, or maybe the video helps them to appreciate the concept of the song. Mm. But I wanted him to understand that I'm from Africa, I'm from Ghana. Mm -hmm. I can do exactly like what you guys are doing out there because mm. I've had all those influences. Mm. So I wanted him to appreciate me that, look, there's a, a kid from Africa mm. and giving you straight ass bars like in English mm -hmm. for you to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. CJ, now he's performing with you on the Dirty Rave stage. Mind blown. I didn't expect it. I, if, yeah, you could, um, if you talk to my manager, he will tell you all what I wanted was him to just post me on Instagram to boost my followers up. <laughs> but now you got a... I go a performance, I go a follow back. We chat in the DM, like, it's crazy. No way. Yeah, like, crazy. I mean, you're hanging out with Rosé no, right? in the DM. I know, right? He comments on my stuff, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, yo, is this happening? Yeah, did you even sleep? <laughs> nah, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep. You couldn't sleep. You're still... In, like, you know, yeah, my phone is still buzzing. Like, I need to charge my phone like almost every 30 minutes because my phone just keeps running down. Like, it's, it's crazy. I have, God, I have so much DMs. I, I never expected this. How are your family reacting to this? Yeah, my mom, my mom is very happy. My mom is the church diver. She knows how much I have invested in music. Like, I've been in the game for almost a decade. Yeah, I've been rapping since. I've been to reality shows. Yeah, I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Like, I've been around. And sometimes it gets frustrating when um, she she sees how hard I'm doing this and, like, I'm not getting the kind of feedback that I have. Most of, almost all my colleagues are very big stars now. Yeah, so sometimes it gets very frustrating. But So right now she's very happy. Her friends are calling her, hey, your son, he's the, yeah. And my sister has always been amazing. Like, my sister is part of my management. Like, she's part of my whole crew and everybody. And she's, she, she's, she has been so supportive. And, like, it's so surreal. That's all I can say. I'm super proud of you. I'm, oh, my God. I'm super proud of you. So what are you going to do with this? Uh, let's see. That's all I can say. Well, you heard him. He said, let's see. I'm here with CJ Biggerman, number one worldwide. So I'm going to let CJ do the rap that he did for Rick Ross right here on the show. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I got nothing to lose, just me and my goons trying to make it big, so I got to risk it. Eyes on me, they see nothing in me. To them, I'm just a misfit, a misfit, but they know that I do spit. I do spit, and yes, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for a breakthrough. It's hard out here, so mama waiting on me to come through. Every day I'm hustling. This West, I be juggling. Stay lit. Be like at the bath plus gasoline. Isolate my body from negative vibes. You don't F with me. I F with myself. Vaseline. Everybody trying to make it bigger than the next man. Caveman. No time to waste on the waste, man. A can. For these bars, I'm a convict. Serial killer. Put a knife in the conflicts. Play. Yeah. Trying to make a melee. Stay meek. Yeah. Double MG goes deep. Yeah. Last of a dying breed, yeah, I'm rare. Yeah, so I live to fight, I fight to live. I ain't got though, like I paid the price to be the boss that Rick Ross. It's not my fault. Anyways, I got home support and that's enough. Uh. I pray you F for me, cause you know I got it. If I ever get a cool sign, it's gonna be iconic. I'm trying to be a hood billionaire and that's so symbolic. This is the part than rap. My life, I know you know it. I'm a lover of rap, trust me. And that was deep for me. Deep words coming from him. But I got one more question for you. Somebody would say, you, you got featured on Sakori's BB Ba. Yeah. So why would you pull this move? Yeah, because um, I was just featured on BB Ba. We had like 10 mm -hmm. rappers on there. Mm -hmm. It was uh, like, it was, it was good exposure for me, but there is not like no such thing as enough exposure. Mm -hmm. And we are always trying to break the boundaries and go international. That has always been the aim. Yeah, so Sako did, did amazingly well for me. I mean, he gave me so much leverage. My followers went up. People were listening to me, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, so. So would you say this is enough? This is still not enough. Good. Yeah. But like, you just wanted your numbers to blow up. Have they blown up? Yeah, it's crazy now. Like. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I never used to have, I have like 5,000 views on my status. Like right now when I put something on Instagram, my status like, I have like 5,000 in like 40 seconds. It's crazy, like, how did this happen? Congratulations to you. I'm so proud. Yeah. Well, yes, I'm a rap fan and I'm very proud of him because it takes a lot of guts to be able to do that. Well, that's it. We'll read some of your comments on what he did right here on an interview and then we'll be right back after this break well, welcome back from that quick break cj bigger man took his chance now we'll come back to you and i'm going to ask you what great initiative have you taken to get what you want. But before we do that, let's read some of the comments coming from what CJ Bigman did today. He says, this is from George Harrison, CJ Bigman doing original meet and greet. Nungwa Eminem <laughs> and Rick Ross posted CJ Bigman post on his IG. Opportunity will well nailed, CJ. Uh, Amasama Quavo says, CJ Bigman meets Rick Ross, bigger man. Obolo for... Okay, I, didn't, I can't read that one. Yeah, my tree is bad. Obolo for me, <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, these Twitter streets. CJ, bigger man. Or oh, Awal Suleiman, pitch invader. Pitch invader. Risk taker of the year. I like that. Hashtag risk taker of the year. Sometimes you need to take risks, right? Yeah. Boris says, CJ Bigaman really forced in Vim, dear, he go push him. Whether he shan or not, God give him that Vim for a reason, definitely. Brad K says, I now understand why CJ Bigaman is set in BB backtrack. When preparations meet with opportunities, it equals to success, 100%. The guy met his, with the opportunity and he, what? He met his, his success with opportunity he met yesterday as he prepared to meet Rick Ross. I beg your pardon. Sorry about that one. Carla says, be like the 2020 should be risk-taking year. Because the way Captain Polo took the risk and got herself a 20 with Cardi B. And the way CJ Biggerman earned a stage performance with Rick Ross, DA. NBS risk we would take next year be that. Facty, Facty, um, GA says, back in the days, boys kept telling me, your wellness be your savior. I doubted them by thinking only Christ was until CJ Bigman demonstrated it yesterday. 
Donaldson says, no, so nobody knows the guy who wanted to stop CJ Biggerman. <laughs> that guy must be regretting it by now. CJ Biggerman met, uh, went meet and rap, but GH Slay Queens went to meet and greet Cardi. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's Domi Benaboy. Um, Kobe founder says, CJ Biggerman forced war, enough respect. But like as he go approach way requests Bowser and Ka go left this app give we Ghanaians be fake okay okay we go praise they heal you all but oh dear floppy oh dear floppy shit hypocrisy as he speak wow that's a different view coming from one of and this coming from our own oreku amp of says this guy almost blocked cj biggerman's lifetime opportunity with rick ross may god help us swear destiny blockers like this man in 2020 hallelujah to that one amen every uh, Destiny Blocker, we can we bind you in Jesus' name in 2020. Amen. Can I get an amen? Yes, I heard you say amen right there. <laughs> That's all fun and games, though. But those are the tweets coming in on what CJ Biggerman did, and I'm so proud that he could do something like that. Well, I'm about to open the phone line, so call us on 0302211691 or 0302211692. And tell me, what great initiative have you taken to get what you want? What great initiative did I take? Hmm. Well, I went to see someone. I wanted a business deal. The first time he shied me. The second time around when I came around, he was asking me why I didn't come back to see him. Well, that very day, I shot my shorts. Yeah, shout out to that person, wherever he is in Spain. God bless you for this opportunity. Yep. And here I am. Right? Yeah. So you need to take a big step and guess what you want. Now, give me a call. Tell me what great initiative you took to get what she wants. I'm about to read some of the comments from Facebook. It says, Her Herbert Alexis, very soon I'll also dare the president to resign from the seat for me to rule the country. It shall allow. My guy, go on ahead and do that. <laughs> and this one, Naaman Hardini said, facts. Charles Ampana says, in fact, is the only way to make it big. And I do agree with you. Kwame Rico said, self put put has has paid off for CJ and a Captain Polo. I had that one day for self put put at a certain point. Angel Lopez said, just get us the handle of what the man is saying. He 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 trying to block his shine. <laughs> That's funny. Koji Japan said, I turned down an offer in anticipation of a bigger one. It was a highly risky move. Society and friends lashed me and tagged it was very unwise, a very unwise decision, but it paid off eventually. Congratulations to you on that one. Not listening to anybody. That's from Mahmoud. He said, just pulled an Ikapim Polo. That's great. Keep sending us your text mess, your WhatsApp messages on 0540 That's our WhatsApp line, so send us a message. And I've got Yaro on the line all the way from Tamale. Hello. Good morning, Yaro. Yeah. How please. are you? I'm fine. Please speak to me. I'm listening. What great initiative did you take that got you what you wanted? Yes, absolutely. I like what the man did. Mm-hmm. Yes. You liked it? But what yes. has it inspired you to do something? Yes. I'm also trying to emulate what he did to get what I want. That's why I'm calling Thank you. Please do that. And I hope 2020... Fact, what people from Tamale are very happy about what he did. Beautiful. He did my blood still good. Beautiful. Yaro, I hope in 2020 you take that move and whatever it is that you're looking for, you get it. Okay? Yes. I, 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 I'm also planning to do the same and get what I want. Okay, sure. Thank you so much for calling, Yaro. Okay, let's read some more messages. So now we're going to talk about Dirty Rave. And because of Rick Ross and CJ Biggerman, Dirty Rave is trending. And today I'm going to dirty myself at Dirty Rave. Now let's take some of your tweets right now. That's from Glenn Sam King. He said, meet us this evening to enjoy the experience. Hashtag Dirty Rave 2019. And that looks fierce. That's fierce, man. That's beautiful artwork. Sappho. Jeffrey Knight says, CJ Biggerman, you know 
wait for meet and greet Seth. He just meet Rick Ross, then greet him with raps. You go celebrate this Xmas past everybody for Ghana. Hashtag Wave 2019. Like I told you. This from Authentically Thelma. She says the best alarm clock in the world is your mom. Tell her to wake you up at 6 a.m. And she'll wake you up at 5 a.m. Telling you it's already 6.30. Hashtag Dirty Wave 2019. Kwesi Tum Tum says Onyx before. Hashtag Dirty Wave 2019. And then Afro Nation. And this is from Shem. Says, Everybody's talking about CJ Biggerman's Vim. But yo, that freestyle itself is pure fire. Hashtag 20, Dirty Wave 2019. And those are your tweets coming on in their form um, Twitter. And um, a big shout to CJ Biggerman. You've inspired a lot of people to do what you did. I'm inspired. I'm going to do the same thing with my producer so I can get my Christmas present. I'm shooting my shorts right now. I'm going to keep shooting my shorts to get what I want. Even if I'm turned down, I'm not going to let that bother me. Don't let it bother you at all. Keep pushing. Keep paving. And I'll be back next two weeks, but my Pete will be here next week with more of Interactive. My name is Ajeli Doku. You can reach me at Ajeli underscore Doku, and we can interact and vibe on. Happy New Year, too. If I don't see you, God bless you. Keep, it, keep pushing. Keep moving. Get more information on our website at myjoyonline.com. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Mm -hmm.